Good morning everyone, I'm Shivani Pandey, the Marketing Manager of Cynic the Air. So, what is Cynic the Air? Cynic the Air is an airline, airline simulation company which is run by our four students of TBC, uh, which was overall run for two years. Um, um, we decided to have a unique image for our airline, so we work out with a unique name for our airline. Cynic, the term Cynic is from Turkey, which literally translates fly in English. So the, therefore the term Cynic the Air is fly in the air. We the, we the team at Cynic the Air is constantly focusing on improving our products and services, um, which, which have been recognized by the, by the industry through various mediums. Cynic the Air has a team of dedicated, enthusiastic, professional, professional and entrepreneur managers who are proud to serve you. And our team members are Aman Sakhi as a team leader and an operation manager, Simran Saragi as a human resource manager, and myself as a marketing manager. Lastly, Subhasid is as a financial manager. Now I would like to talk about vision of our company, Cynic the Air. And our vision is that Cynic the Air aims to be the best service provider among the normal fair airline market. And our mission is that Cynic the Air holds the mission to become a leading airline company by providing safe and dependable air transport and cargo services with substantial value proposition. Uh, thank you, Shani. So uh, now we transition towards the part of uh, the balance scorecard, which is a financial performance management tool. Utilized by the company in, in the four aspects that it uh, retains. First is the financial aspect, of, uh, obviously, which says that uh, the performance of a company should be measured through uh, ratios and uh, the distinct profitability and uh, the liquidity positioning that the company maintains. Uh, as such, uh, we have seen that uh, net profit, uh, or more so the net loss, has been reduced each year by the company. Um, the, there is a decrease in the expenditure and an increment in the share price where the strategies have been applied uh, distinctively to that effect. Uh, the factor in a balanced scorecard uh, presents a, a more iceberg type model which shows that uh, the financial aspect is just the tip of the iceberg which shows only a, a photographic image of uh, the performance of the company at that particular point in time. Whereas those figures were reached uh, upon by various diff different factors, including the customer factor, the internal processing factor, and the learning and growth factors. Uh, as such, the company has uh, utilized all of these uh, means of uh, measuring performance by focusing on uh, customers and trying to increase their satisfaction, uh, which translates towards uh, the increase in passenger impact. Also, we have uh, focused on internal processing by uh, increasing our employee uh, retention and reducing uh, turnover uh, through our human resource management policies. Uh, this has uh, allowed the company to become more reliable. Uh, finally, we have uh, utilized the employee training function within the simulation to help learning and growth development within the environment. Uh, We plan for the growth of Cynic the Air, which led us to down, downfall because of our initial mistake that we made. But, uh, but afterwards, we we recovered. We recovered. However, further downfalls were observed. Initially, a te temporary decision, which made us to keep, uh, which made us to sell all the beach crafts and lease Embraer, Embraer Brasilia and one British Aero. Cash after the further calculation and insight proved that selling the beach crafts was not a lucrative option and that buying additional aircraft was be beneficial than leasing. Okay, uh, thank you, Nani. So uh, now we reach out the financial indicators. Uh, this is an important aspect when we look at uh, the financial part of the uh, organization. Uh, there have been uh, seven distinct uh, seven distinct factors that we've identified as the performance indicators for the company. Uh, stock price being the most important, which is a combination of all the other factors. 
So uh, stock price of the company is essentially the point assigned to the single share value of the company in the market. It is the market valuation of a company. Uh, it is influenced by factors such as earnings per share, net profit, and dividends. So uh, in our uh, operation throughout the simulation, there has been uh, distinct changes uh, with regards to our strategies, uh, which explains almost every financial figure uh, that we can see uh, in, in these performance management indicators. So uh, the first point is the initiation point, wherein uh, utilizing the various case studies from real life scenarios, we uh, took a more passive strategy. As most companies, they uh, utilize a passive strategy because of the volatility of the market and uh, because of um, policy issues, fuel pricing issues, we, have, uh, we uh, accommodated that model. And as we can see, our stock prices have declined uh, because simulation apparently does not work in the same manner. It uh, uh, works on a more uh, ceteris paribus ruling, wherein the factors and the variables are defined by the software program itself. For instance, we had the market index function, which showed that uh, uh, the demand forecast for future, uh, future quarter operations uh, before that quarter had arrived. So such uh, predictions are not uh, completely accurate in a real life market. Other variables, uh, such as the ones in the performance management, uh, performance measurement, uh, uh, sorry, in the performance measurement uh, factors, uh, we have identified these factors mm -hmm. as uh, a combination of uh, combination into uh, the final stock pricing, which is not the case. <laughs> So uh, the three points are the initial factor where we utilize the passive strategy, uh, the, the third quarter factor where in, uh, due to our performance levels, we uh, try to change the strategy into an, a more active one by purchasing aircraft. And then in the sixth uh, quarter where we were unable to maintain our uh, active strategy because of the lack of resources. Uh, and so that's why we see a figure which is uh, slightly, uh, <laughs> slightly uh, skewed in, in, a, in a way that uh, from the first, second, and third term in a passive strategy, we did not see profits, but we did see uh, an increment in uh, the uh, profitability figures. However, in third, we made a uh, purchase uh, uh, to go into an active strategy, which caused our expenses to increase. Uh, but it uh, in the uh, what is to come, it helped us reduce our cost and even reach a uh, net profit figure. However, uh, at that point, we could not maintain our strategy, so we had to go back down. Um, the earnings per share also reflects these facts. Uh, where our uh, earnings per share has gone the highest at the sixth and uh, decreases at the third and seventh. The cumulative net profit, uh, which shows a cash flow account of the net profit, uh, shows that even though uh, our profitability figures showed uh, uh, an increment, the uh, cumulative, uh, the cumulative uh, effect of that was uh, decremental. And uh, similarly, in the returns of uh, returns on sh uh, sales, we can see the same exact uh, uh, sorry uh, graphic demonstration. Uh, finally, the passenger load factor. Uh, where we look at the uh, load factors that uh, can slightly uh, explain the last eight uh, quarter performance, uh, wherein we have the highest passenger load factor of uh, all the other uh, time scales. Uh, we have maintained our reliability in this uh, instance by uh, keeping our maintenance uh, levels high, uh, routes. Uh, never changed and uh, employee and training quite consistent or increasing. Uh, however, due to the cost constraints, we have to uh, reduce our maintenance costs. Okay, uh, for performance diagnostics, okay, so uh, the crucial uh, strategy factor uh, are essentially the three factors that we identified, the passive strategy adoption, the active strategy adoption, and the resource depletion, which explains all of the figures shown above. Thank <laughs> you.
Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, I'm Mohamed Saki, the team leader and the operation manager. So I'll be here analyzing the performance of our uh, company. And first of all, we can see as uh, made clear by Subhasis and Sivan, the initial downfall where we took the decision to sell all the prevailing uh, B-scrap and uh, these uh, two Embraer Brazil and one British Air. This resulted in a net loss of uh, minus 141,000 and a cumulative ne net loss of uh, more than uh, 230,000 uh, till quarter three. So you can see from the charts that our expenses uh, were greater than uh, the uh, re our expenses were greater, so uh, it resulted in the loss uh, till quarter three. However, uh, from one to three, even though we were making losses, our losses were declining. Uh, declining, as you can see, here, our uh, net losses were declining in steep trend. Uh, it was due to, uh, because we were able to lower expenditure by cutting down on the costs such as the uh, aircraft amenities like the magazines and also we provided simple refreshment instead of the ones that cost us more and we were able to rise the revenue through by placing the flights with the highest loop factors uh, and for the quarter 4 we uh, now finally decided to take a uh, step forward uh, to bring back our airline in track therefore uh, we terminated these on one Embraer Brazil as it was uh, costing us the more and then we purchased uh, one British Air through the utilization of gas and loans and things. However, this uh, resulted uh, in a further decrease in revenue. Uh, we can see that for the first time our revenue declined and uh, this was also due to the decline in passenger load factor. And uh, the reasons for this are because British Air was smaller, uh, has smaller capacity than Embraer Brazil. This resulted in the decline in our uh, passengers. And also in quarter four, we experienced uh, we experienced aircraft aircraft uh, scheduling conflicts. And as well as uh, we were keeping too much flights uh, in uh, the same routes, uh, which uh, was like uh, leading to supply greater than demand. So our revenue was decreasing. And uh, the strategy to terminate lease and at the same time purchase uh, using the loan, we uh, plan to carry it for every quarter. However, uh, as our line of credit became zero after the initial purchase, we weren't able to carry forward the strategy. Uh, and uh, for quarter five, uh, we decided to uh, keep uh, going to additional loops. Uh, thereby, we were, uh, uh, due to this decision, we were able to make some uh, increments, in, uh, increments in revenue. So quarter six was our peak point whereby we experienced the uh, profit for the first time. And the main reason was uh, we uh, went to uh, reserve market results which proved to be quite lucrative. And another reason was for the first time we provided discount fares on uh, three of our routes that attracted uh, passengers, uh, that had to attract passengers. And uh, due to this, our passenger load factor increased uh, same, uh, very dramatically, uh, resulting in its profits. And, uh, uh, on the uh, routes where we uh, provided discounts, uh, they are, the passenger load factor is the highest. And for quarter seven, we experienced uh, uh, the greatest uh, downfall again. This was because uh, we carried forward the strategy of discount first, but at the same time, we provided discount on too many routes, uh, causing our revenue to decline. And on the factors where uh, in quarter seven, uh, it was uh, uh, we, uh, there was a problem with foreign exits, uh, there were foreign fluctuations, which also resulted in our net losses. And uh, there were other problems in uh, quarter 7, uh, which was uh, passengers were booking, but they were not showing up, so our, uh, the, uh, the passenger load was uh, declining. And I'd like to call Sivan. For the first three quarters, uh, in order to keep expenditure at low, the marketing budget was not raised dynamically. The, in quarter four, following the purchase of new aircraft, and to support the expansion into new routes, the budget was raised, and from the quarter, the budgets were raised gradually to support the diversification of markets and additional of routes. Uh, thanks, Shivani. Uh, the financial lease uh, or buy decision was one of the most uh, crucial factors uh, as it essentially dictated how we performed after this point. Uh, so what we did essentially was we weighed uh, the two options which was either the lease or buy the aircrafts that we were uh, obtaining and uh, the cost calculations showed that uh, the leasing uh, would Increase it uh, increase the expenses by 21,950 per quarter for Embraer Brazil, 
whereas uh, for British Air it would uh, be uh, an increase of 3,900. However, uh, understanding this factor, we looked at the long-term and uh, realistic uh, depreciation uh, factor, which showed that uh, in, in a 10-year uh, term, uh, the value of the uh, of the asset uh, acquired would go down by 70 percent. So leasing uh, would be a better option. Good morning, everyone. I'm Simran Saragi, the Human Resource Manager for Senate Air. The main merit as a Human Resource Manager in Senate Air was uh, helping the company with uh, uh, selecting the employees and selecting and con uh, consulting them with the strategies that could be used for carry forwarding it. As you know that our company has faced dramatic loss since the very beginning because uh, the strategy that we own, uh, that theory works in real life, but as the company progressed, we believe that theory is not only about, uh, uh, all theories cannot be applied practically. Henceforth, uh, as uh, we uh, took our further decisions, we decided to increase the uh, employee salary by 1.5%, and we also decided to give the employees the stake in the company, a stock, uh, a stock area where they can feel like the co-owners or the owners of the company, which makes them motivate and uh, as they were given the part, uh, co-owner part of the company, uh, they started uh, feeling motivated. Henceforth, uh, as, uh, the, uh, as the employee turnover of our company was really high in uh, uh, the very first quarter, it decreased pro, uh, to 37.5, and for the rest of quarters, we just had the employee turnover rate of 6%, which was very satisfying for us because of having a minimum cost investment. HR is the department which we could not uh, invest a lot because of having uh, a, a dramatic loss all over the company. We can see the uh, ratio of employee turnover uh, going uh, dramatically down and then uh, again getting hired up and then uh, in a very stable uh, position from quarter uh, 3 to quarter 8. Henceforth, uh, the capabilities. As a human resource uh, manager, the, uh, the strategy that was uh, owned to the company was uh, the cost leadership strategy from the Porter's generic strategy. This strategy is one of the best methods by uh, decreasing the cost uh, uh, in order to uh, make the customers and make the fly uh, in a very uh, stable way. Uh, we did this by providing, uh, rather than uh, taking employees in stake, rather than uh, decreasing employee salary, rather than decreasing employees uh, incentives, we uh, thought of redu uh, reducing the cost by providing cheapest cabin food service, removing in-flight magazine and maintenance kept at level one. Uh, the industrial con uh, context analysis, which is one again one of the best way of knowing the market potential value of the airline. Bargaining power of buyers. We, uh, when it comes to bargaining power, we are very low. Uh, very, we are really low associated with this because passengers are price sensitive. They don't believe in bargaining a lot, and if uh, if we give them a price that they, that is not affordable or that they cannot uh, accept, the, it's it's uh, it's really easy for them to switch to some other flight. Henceforth, uh, the other is uh, threat of new entrants. We have a really high barrier of entry due to, it has a massive investment. Airline industry has a massive uh, investment. Hence, uh, it has a very high barrier. Bargaining power of suppliers. The supplier stimulation refers to the supplier of airline fuel. We can buy fuel uh, in two methods. Hence, uh, the threats of substitute, uh, there are thousands of substitute for airline, uh, but the best and the safest uh, transportation is airline. Competition, uh, even though the competition is high, the company really needs to focus on uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, on the, uh, its services. Uh, the decision that we took in uh, uh, quarter eight was hiring a station manager, which was very, uh, uh, which was a very positive decision for us because her status as the best cabin attendant was uh, very nice in the previous airline. She was more qualified among all. Hence, this was a very positive uh, decision. Now for the strategic implementation, uh, I'd like to refer to Minsberg uh, uh, strategic uh, uh, model. Uh, so here we can see that our intended strategy was uh, for expansion to the addition of aircraft, but instead we had to uh, we had to come to an emergency strategy which was to dominate the lease. Uh, also, we couldn't add new routes, but we had to diversify uh, as an emergency strategy. 
and some parts of the in intended strategy that we carried forward uh, till our last year to add uh, addition in the new fleets by purchasing and uh, terminating. Also, we were uh, constant at increasing our marketing budget. Hence, uh, in the end, uh, through all the mixture of this uh, intended. Sorry.